Hey guys, Paradigm from Twitch.tv here. How's it going? See, I've been getting a lot of questions when streaming um, how to get into the TeamSpeak or Mumble iOS apps and how to set them up. So I decided to go ahead and make a tutorial for each. This is the t tutorial for the TeamSpeak app. Um, if you're looking for the Mumble one, I will put that link in the description below. So, you're watching a stream or you want to play some video games with some buddies and get into the TeamSpeak um, server that they have or that we've got set up for you guys. This is how you do it, all right? $4.99 iOS App Store, pick up the TeamSpeak app. If you're going to run it on your computer, it is free, but the setup is a little bit different. So go ahead and check that out um, on YouTube there. Alrighty. So you're going to ask somebody, okay, how do I get into your TeamSpeak server? They're going to usually give you an IP address or a server name. They're going to give you a server password, maybe a port number. So those are the things you want to have going into setting up your, your TeamSpeak app. Every device is different, so say you run an iPhone and an iPad, they're going to be different. You're going to have to set it up the same way on your iPad um, or vice versa. So we'll get things going. Top left corner, you're going to hit the menu button. It's going to give you these options here to manage. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a new bookmark. So we're going to hit bookmarks. Now you won't have any setup here in the beginning. All right. So in the bottom left, there's going to be a plus plus sign. You're going to hit that. Alrighty. So here's that information we talked about. Address for the TeamSpeak server. This is either going to be an HTTP, like a www.blank.teamspeak.com, or this is going to be an IP, like a nine-digit um, number. Okay, so you're going to plug that in here. Top right corner, you're going to hit save. Now, I'm not setting one up now, but you would hit save there. Okay. The label, this is optional. This is just for when you open up your TeamSpeak app, you want to know which server you're going to be going into, right? Um, so you plug in, you know, like, oh, Paradigms, Twitch. That way you know when you hit enter that you're going into the right one. Okay? You don't have to set that up. But. Server port. Now, if, if they don't give you one, it's usually default 9987. If they do tell you, okay, make sure you put in that server port, this is where you want to do it. Save again. Alrighty. Next is the nickname. It says iOS client as default. So right now, let's say I we're setting this up, and I jumped into a Teamspeak um, server right now. It would say iOS client has joined your server, and I would be talking away, and people wouldn't know who I am, right? I'm just iOS client, and if I'm not the first one, then I might be iOS client five. We don't know. The best thing to do here is put. Um, whether it be your in-game name or your handle uh, or maybe your Twitch name. That way, if you're hopping into mine, then I know which viewer you are in my stream, okay? So you're gonna plug that in, you're gonna hit save. Next is the server password. Now, some servers have a password, some don't. If you have a server password that was given to you, add it in here. Sometimes the server doesn't have a password, but the rooms inside do, so then you'll have to run into that issue, okay? And there you just try to join the channel and it'll say, okay, add, you know, put in the the, server, the channel password now. Okay, the next is going to be your default channel. If you want to turn that on, you can. Um, it's got a little tab here, you can turn it on. That just means it's kind of like your go-to one when you, when you open the TeamSpeak app. And then you're done. That's all you got to do. So top right corner, you're going to hit done. It's going to add it into your bookmarks list here, okay? So then, when you hop on your TeamSpeak app, you know, menu that's going to be sitting up top here under your bookmarks perfect it's all set up ready to go now the next thing i would do though before you join into um, any kind of a server is go into your settings and this kind of depends on what you're what you're using the app for okay so we'll get into that first of all is your voice mode there's three different kinds voice activated only turns on once you start speaking right it only transmits your voice once you start talking out loud Push to talk makes a big button on your screen, right? A big green and red button that you push down to actually transmit. Or continuous is just all the time. It's always going. So if your little chihuahua runs down the hallway, everybody's going to hear it, okay? Usually I tell people to go voice activated. It's the best for while you're playing or if your phone's just sitting next to you on the desk. Alrighty. If you're streaming... Um, or playing a game on your iOS device and using TeamSpeak on the same device. 
you're going to want to make sure that your away in background is turned off okay the reason for this is if i hit my home button while i'm in a server in a teamspeak server i'm not going to hear the people in the server and they're not going to hear me anymore okay so it, let's say i want to go play a game and I'm sitting there chatting to people. I'm like, man, why aren't these guys listening to me? Probably this is your reason. If nobody's responded to you, okay? So make sure that's off. That's a big, um, big thing. All right. All this other stuff, you can kind of go ahead and look through. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Whisper notifications. If somebody sends you a whisper, do you want do you want it to notify you? Okay. So that's it. There you go. That's how to get into the TeamSpeak app. So guys, if you're in my stream and you're asking, hey, how do I get into TeamSpeak? Easy enough. All right. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that um, subscribe button if you want to see.